Hello. Let me know what this part is. The wolf in the, uh, I don't know what you were saying. <laughs> The wolf that doesn't act like a wolf. <laughs> the wolf that's the most docile animal in the house. Arr. What's up, guys? It is Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. No, today's Wednesday. Today's, today's the Wednesday. second, October second. So if this video is not loaded today, we did it on the second. Um, we're gonna give you wow, twenty nine days. Thirty. Well, uh -huh. I started the day, so it'll be thirty for me. They can push it to November first, and it'll be thirty days because it's a thirty day deal, right? 30 day challenge, 30 day shred. Um, I've talked about this in the email and you can read that below here. Uh, one of the big things is you've gotta be more invested. Um, so, uh, and I, I talked about this and, and you and I have talked about this. What is it that makes you wanna get in shape and it should be bigger and more invested into you um, than, hey, I just wanna, I, I wanna look good. It should be something bigger than that. Um, maybe a, a class reunion, maybe, um, well, in this case, why don't you tell us? Because for me, uh, I'll say this, this is why I get in shape. Um, I get in shape or, or um, uh, am motivated to stay in shape. To stay in shape. <laughs> uh, because I, I guess it, every stage is different. I'll say that for sure. Yeah. I'll keep it short. In my 20, in my teen years, it was the biggest part was, oh, this should already go, yeah. Um, the teen years was, I wanted to be the best athlete, and I wanted to be the best athlete in, in, in Washington, and then it moved out from Washington to the United States, and then it moved around the world, and it continued to grow, and now in my age now, I wanna be, um, well, the legacy of me, and now it's now for my son. Uh, is why I want to stay in shape. Mm. Are you asking me why? I just want a I challenge. <laughs> you know, listen, we're all built differently. Mike makes his whole living is built around staying in shape, staying on stage, motivating the masses um, to really buy into the um, power bodybuilding lifestyle. It's not just something that you do two hours in the gym every day. It's kind of who he is and what he preaches. Um, you know, for me, I'm different. I'm a father of two. He's now a father of one. We're in completely different areas of life. I'm in a, a transition season of life. He's in a kind of a dominating season of life. Um, I'm built on uh, accountability and challenges. I love rules and structure. Um, and so in this season of life, I'm learning how to apply rules and structure to every area of my life from parenting to um, even, even in my faith walk. So I go to Mike. Uh, two days ago, I said, hey, give me something that I have to wear for Halloween that will make me be peeled. Now listen, I'm probably still 0.001% of the population in the world in the sense of physique and in shape. Uh, am I Mike? No, I will never be Mike. I could train for the next 15 years and my body's never going to look like his. My wrists are bigger, my knees are bigger, my waist is thicker, um, but it's not about being Mike, it's being about the best version of me. I'm the best version of me when I have um, very difficult challenges. This season of life has offered me some very difficult challenges that are enough in their, their selves. So I went to Mike and said, hey, let's do something fun for Halloween. Um, so we'll be looking forward to some good Halloween videos that we'll send your way. Uh, we were talking about one from three years ago, which is absolutely crazy how funny it was, but um, I now, wanted a challenge. Now, now so, what we will do is we are going to show you, and I am gonna challenge him, um, and at the same time, I'm gonna challenge myself, um, because right after him, uh, right after the Halloween, sorry, him, yeah. uh, right after Halloween and what his goal is, I have a guest posing, um, a big one to me, because it will be the first time um, Titan takes the stage. And I don't mean me, Titan. I mean my <laughs> the son. The real Titan. The real Titan. And his legacy will begin, um, and he'll be on stage. And I want him to be able to look back in 20, 30, 50, 60, 100 years and go, this is when I stepped on stage with my dad. Yeah. And so, uh, oof. A little chill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can understand that it's not even about me being in shape, me winning the universe. This is about something that will live forever within me and my son and my family. So that's why I will train harder than I've trained before and I will find whatever that is to, to push me. And so my challenge to Heath Evans which is gonna be extremely hard. Um, 
But if I have to be in better shape than I won the universe now, I gotta be in better shape than when I won the universe 20 years ago, that's a huge challenge. I mean, I was the greatest physique in the world, and now I'm gonna try to accomplish that now. So with that being said, I came up with a costume that, that absolutely guarantees that he has to not just diet, because if he diets down, he gets in shape. That's okay, he's done that before, but how can I choose something? <laughs> oh boy, he doesn't know yet. I mean, yeah, and, and my, my, my brain is spinning right now because yeah. I'm not walking around in a loincloth. I mean, he, he no, loves no, exposing no, no, himself. No, 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 no. I have two I daughters. I actually <laughs> have a costume um, that covers the body, but it does establish that you have to change the way your body is structured. That means you have to get your waist to the smallest it's ever been since you hit puberty. Oh boy. So it wasn't small then. <laughs> so yeah, and, and, and also you gotta keep in mind, um, I won all of my shows because of uh, the bone structure that I have. And so I have a very small bone structure uh, with large muscles. So it on stage looks twice the size. He doesn't have small bones. He is a fullback. <laughs> big boned. <laughs> He's big boned. So this is even harder for him, which is great. Um, okay, I'm gonna say this because I'm just so excited. Three years ago, I wore a costume, and I also wore that costume on set for the movie Barbarian. Um, and I was peeled when I did this for Barbarian because I just won uh, the Mr. California. And then I went straight over and filmed this movie in um, overseas. And I wore this costume three years ago when he and I went down to, with his family. We were in Manhattan Beach. Um, and you remember that costume on me. I, I do, I do. My costume was far superior. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll bring that video back here shortly. But We're gonna let the video play and you're gonna see what kind of condition I'm in to wear the costume, which tells you what kind of condition he will have to be in to fit in this costume. And that is my challenge to you that on Halloween, you have to wear this costume. Ooh. And it is my barbarian costume. And again, um, <laughs> it means that his waist has to be the smallest it's ever been. And uh, his hips have to be smaller. So he has to change his workouts um, to actually bring down his hips and waist size. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I'll do what I'm told. Um, just for some comparison sake, huh? no, I didn't. Yeah, okay. For some comparison sake, um, my waist is probably right now thirty eight ish at its smallest when he's dieted me down before. I think some of my pant suits or my suit pants were like thirty five and three quarters. His waist right now, what what are you thirty four? I, I wear a thirty two jeans, um, but my waist will hit 30 inches dieted down. Yeah. So it's pretty freaking small. So he just set me up for failure because my nope. hips. <laughs> no, nope. no, we're going to change him and we're going to change his um, waist size and we're going to change his hip size because we're going to train change the workouts we're doing. Um, we're going to go 30 days shred. The nutrition is going to be different. We're going to give you all the nutrition as we do this. Um, the workouts will be different, and we will probably be hitting two body parts. I know you guys love this part. We're going to probably be hitting two body parts uh, a week instead of just one body part a week. Yeah, because my arms and calves got to grow if I'm going to be putting his uh, barbarian uniform on. <laughs> so if you guys can, take what we're talking about today. Um, for me and this guest posing around Halloween, for him and what he's going through, and if, if you follow Heath, if you follow me, you probably follow Heath. Um, Minus a million. <laughs> no. So you know that right now, this is a, a, a great thing um, when you're going through, uh, uh, I guess right now, I got, I got some things going on that are very difficult for me. Um, and, uh, and I'm gonna take that frustration out with the gym. What are you doing to help right now? What is... Uh... Man, my daughters are already planning their Halloween outfits. Um, I just wanted a challenge. For me, everything okay. operates better when things are hyper-disciplined and hyper-structured. Um, listen, to why I'm taking this on right now, I do not know. It's probably not the wisest <laughs> of things, but... 
um, let's go. Let's get better. I would love for you guys to hold uh, both of us accountable for this. Um, uh, we're not going to put a price on this or winner takes all kind of a thing. I think we both win uh, at the end of this big time. I know that uh, um, I am not going to quit and uh, I'll put it in. But if you guys out there uh, subscribe to this, like it on the bottom of the page, uh, stay with us and we'll send out workouts and nutrition as we're doing this. But try to pick your why. Yeah, listen, I... When you were on stage the other day, what were you what were you telling those guys um, when we were in at John's? Uh, that was a loaded conversation. Mike and I had the opportunity to talk to 74 of like the top realtors in the country, honestly, Canada included. Um, and so those that messaging was about taking 18 years of, of NFL uh, experience and, and telling business leaders how to inspire a team and then really how to destroy a team because I saw both in my 18 years of NFL experience. Um, but I think if there's something that you could pull from um, the leadership conversation that Mike and I were driving is that um, accountability is key and then being um, well planned out. Um, I, I, uh, my first point to this group was master your mantra. Well, the mantra for Bill Belichick um, was very specific and the team fell under that mantra and we mastered that mantra every single day. It was the little things, it was the details. And so um, life is always better when it's structured. Mike's figuring out how to be a dad and a significant other. He's figuring out how to be on stage um, and all these other aspects of life, having to balance them together. You know, for me, mine's different, but it is about having rules and regulation. And people don't like those words, but the truth is, like, we were, we were built to submit to rules and regulations. As humans, we operate better when there is um, structure and finality over us. Um, and so, um, listen, I just wanted to, I wanted to pick something to challenge myself. Um, he wanted to make this easy. Uh, he just wanted to go, hey, I want to get a challenge. Um, and, and I kind of wanted to up it a little bit because I want to see him succeed. So if there's a way that I could uh, up the stakes a little bit um, and help out as a friend and a training partner, then I'm going to uh, add into that. And then I think if you guys, um, just by watching, because I, I think both we have the same, I, we're not two guys that are going to sit on stage and tell you that you're doing things wrong and uh, tell you how to do it, um, unless we are living that. Or at least for me, I, I never like preaching that. I like just showing you what I do. Uh, and we're going to show you the next 30 days on what we are doing in Slicing and Dicing. And uh, if you guys want to join, awesome. Um, but if... Uh, Either of us fail this, uh, hold us accountable. I'm going to hold you accountable, and I will not slow down for you. I don't have to worry about him cheating on his diet. This guy has mastered it. When I put my word to something, especially publicly, um, Mike mentioned about... Um, can we give him five tips on how to do that? I mean, you can. Isn't, 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 uh, the main thing is uh, make, make it public. Yep. And this is about goal setting and something like this. So, so... Uh, we are making it public that we're going to do this. Um, we write it down, and, and we're both writers uh, in the sense of that we like to put our thoughts on paper and look at uh, what we're going to hold to. Yeah. People, hold don't, people don't plan to fail. They fail to plan. Planning isn't thinking. Planning is strategic, strategically writing it down. Um, there's two. Um, for me, the third one, and maybe the most powerful tool that you can have in your life, is to have someone that can call you on your crap. Um, and so for us, it'll be in the dieting world. Mike can come to me at any freaking time and be like, are you doing this? Are you doing this? Huge, massive accountability. <laughs> that should be in every area of your life though, especially uh, as fathers. One more person is going to do this. Um, um, and she's promised me that she's going to get ripped and then back in shape. Whoa. Oh, I quit. If Mona's in, cause I don't. I can't look better than her. <laughs> so uh, Mona as well is going on stage with our, with my son. I Whoa. Say, I always say my. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I did most of the work. Unbelievable. Uh, so she is going on stage uh, with me in November. Come here. I'm already. What are you talking about? I'm going to say. Can you see hey. this? Hey. Hey. 
Guys, do you see? Look, look, look at this. Holy <laughs> shit. Come on. Is that photoshopped? Yeah, no, it's not photoshopped. Look, look at, at this. Look at the angle there. No, seriously, come on. Look at this. I'm going to go to the gym what now and work one? out. I feel what? bad about myself. <laughs> Right. Right. Another I tiny, see. another tiny wasted person. Oh God! I think I just blinded everybody on Face, on your Facebook. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah. I, uh, so Mona's gonna get on the stage uh, with me, and, and you guys know she also won uh, the Miss Universe. Um, so Mr. and Mrs. Universe will be on stage with Titan. Hanging out. Having fun. And we both want to be in the best shape of our lives. Oh yeah. Um, so. All right. I'm gonna start doing cardio. Finally. Uh, finally. <laughs> this is going to be easy for you to get in shape. Uh, I am already dieting, so I have to actually up the workload even more so to change it. And a couple of things that I'm, I want to do is I think Heath and I uh, are both going to really double up the shoulders and arms on this next 30 days of training. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make my waist the very smallest it's ever been. Um, or at least tie what I was at the universe, which was 29 and a half inches on stage, um, and uh, try to get my arms and shoulders bigger. Mona just got sick to her stomach because things are gonna be miserable around this house. <laughs> it's 30 days. 30 days. It's 30 days. Well, um, 27 days. <laughs> Mona's moving out. <laughs> um, so that's it. Uh, any more tips on, uh, tell a friend, write it down. Pick the goal and make it bigger than just getting in shape. Take um, pictures every single yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Take pictures. Uh, check in with me on the uh, if you got my fit plan. Um, remember, remember, the Titan Crew on Facebook private group is free, 100% free with your subscription. So you can check in there as you're doing this slice and dice 30 days. Boom. Oh. I'm also going to make Mike read um, the corresponding Proverbs for the day in the Bible. So like tomorrow's the third, I'm gonna make him read Proverbs three. So, and then the next day, the fourth, and the next day, the fifth. So he gets to work on my waistline. I'm gonna work on his heart. We'll see, we'll see what we got. What do you think? Think he'll do it, Mona? Where's my, I'm from Krypton, where's my He's heart at? Krypton. <laughs> I'll read it to him, how about that? Yeah. You know, we'll I make this happen. Thank you guys. Um, remember, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe at the bottom. Um, this whole workout plan will be uh, available after the 30 days. Done? <laughs> Done. 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 Rock and roll Whoa. on that bad boy. <laughs> we'll go get a donut.